My name is Dick Ogg and I'm a commercial fisherman out of Bodega Bay. I have the fishing vessel Karen Jean and um, I fish for crab, salmon, albacore, and black cod. We lose gear in a number of ways. Um, and none of it is intentional, but primarily it's weather and, and uh, different current flows and uh, um, you know, debris in the water that uh, could be uh, you know, a log, a tree, a tree limb, uh, kelp patties, and so on and so forth. It's very, very difficult. It's a very dynamic fishery. We move from point to point to point. We hop scotch along with the, with the pots and uh, we try to make sure that we get it all, but it's just not always possible. Fishermen are learning uh, uh, every day. I mean, uh, every day about how to get, you know, find a lost gear and stay on top of it and so on and so forth. There's a lot of technology that's Im improving and giving us the options to be able to follow the gear and hopefully by, you know, in a short period of time, we'll be able to utilize that. Fishermen can make a difference being on the advisory boards by um, contributing their their insight and and the the on the water experience that we have. Uh, we see we see all the subtle changes, and and you know the 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 people that are involved with the advisory boards they don't have that chance, and it's it's really important that we interact with them and try and at least help let, uh, guide them and let them know what we see on a daily basis. I mean, the changes that we've seen in the ocean in the last few years has been significant, and it's difficult for everybody to actually uh, grasp all of that because, again, we see it every day. It's, it's a daily occurrence for us. Yes, I am optimistic about the future. I, I really feel like these programs that we're we're working on right now this pot retrieval especially is is very uh, uh, beneficial to the environment and and to you know uh, get that gear out of the water the the vertical lines are critical to get out of the water we do not want them in there and um, you know the, the potential for navigational hazards and uh, in uh, mammal entanglement is is significant so we are doing everything we can to get that to you know to work Well, the legislation, I feel it has been a very positive thing. It's actually, uh, you know, the implementation of the pot retrieval programs has uh, helped to in give incentive to the, the fishermen to go out and actually recover this gear and pay for the gear and, and keep the program operational. Um, I do feel that there are, are some things that, you know, could potentially be looked at a little more in depth, but uh, quite honestly, I, I feel like it's going to be a, a good thing in the end. The reason that I participate in these things is because I really truly believe in them. And m my objective, honestly, is to provide a, a sustainable organic product to the public. And I also want to see the younger generation have the opportunity to continue this, this industry because it's, 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 it's an old industry and, and we, you know, we've, we've worked with the ocean forever and, and I wanna see it continue.